this sauce. I don't know what the sauce is. Then this is the wrap I ordered and it is quite big. So this is what the food looks like. Let's zoom in a little bit. The food I ordered today is from a Lebanese restaurant. And um, this video is going to be about a Nigerian trying like a Lebanese food. This restaurant is called Kababji. Kababji. And I got, let me show you what I got. So I got um I got biryani rice with kebab. I think biryani is from India. I don't know, I'm just saying, but I know that India people they eat something called biryani. I don't know, Sha. I got that and I also got kafta sandwich. This is what the pack came. It was actually sealed. I opened it already. This is um the kafta sandwich. This is how it came. And this is it is actually huge. This is this is the size. Can you see? I think this is like from your wood. Can you see the size? Then I got some this sauce. This sauce came with the the biryani rice. Yeah. So this is what the pack looks like. So it's like rice. Then I can see I can see nuts inside as well. Then okay. Then there is like a toothpick, a sagget paper, then salt. So if your salt is not enough, I added salt, then cutlery as well. So yeah, let's see this. Yes, there is nuts. I think this is cashew nuts. Then there is like, let me show you. So the first thing we'll be tasting is this. The reason why I ordered this was because I was missing shawarma and I felt or I think this should taste like shawarma. So let's taste this and see. And I'll give my honest review. This doesn't taste like shawarma. No. Even when I was ordering it, I requested for like extra spice. I wanted it to be spicy. It has like like pepper. It has like I can see beef. Then it has like vegetables and everything going on. I don't think I'm a fan of it. This this. this this I don't know if it is soup or sauce. It tastes like it looks like yogurt, but not the sweetened type of yogurt. It is not sour. It is not sour sour. It doesn't have taste. Then inside it, there's like um vegetables in it, like tomato. But the issue now is. I don't know if I'm supposed to eat this with this. That's what I don't know. Let's see. Not bad. Honestly, it is not bad. Just that it is not spicy. Like, you know, we in Nigeria, we love stew, we love sauce. And then it is kind of dry for me. It is too dry. Very too sweet. Um, and there's this thing inside. Is this not ground nuts? I think they added ground nuts. Then there's like... This is cashew nuts. So let's taste the meat and see. Mm. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. Mm. This tastes like not goat's meat, like um like ram. Yeah. That's the word. It tastes like ram, like agbu. Agbu that they use for Ramadan. You know. There's this thing inside this thing that's making this thing taste sweeter. I'm coming. I need to. I, need to. Mm -hmm. I found it. So there's this. There's this little, little thing inside that is making it taste like when you eat it with the rice. Mm. It gives the rice like a sweeter taste. The thing is, one thing I noticed about the restaurants here is they are generous with their portions. Oh, like I said, I don't know if I'm supposed to try this. This with this, I don't know. I don't know. Are you supposed to wait? Are you supposed to take this alone? Long hair. Let's read this food. I'm not criticizing the food or anything, but for me, on a scale of 1 to 10, what would I give this rice? I love the meats. Like, I love the kebab. Honestly, I really love it. Which is, I'll, I'm going to give this kebab 10. Should I give it 10? Let's give it 9. Because it tastes like ram. Like, it tastes like agu. You know, like, our ilea agu. That's what it tastes like. Yeah, the rice. Mmm... I'll give it excuse me the rice I'll give it um a seven yeah a seven or a six point five I love it honestly like it is very different from most of the things I've had since I got here yeah then this wrap what will I give it <laughs> I think I'll give it a six for me i'll give it a six yeah so yeah i don't know if i mentioned the name of the page of the name of the brand the name of the brand is kababji i think i mentioned it yeah and everything about it like their selling point is written on their packaging like i love it like hormone free antibiotic free blah 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 farm raised lamb farm grown and picked and freshly served vegetables i love it I love that about them and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video yeah don't forget like i always say that you are enough and you matter and everything is figured out to you see you in my next video bye